Title, Austrian Superheroes Foil Alleged as Lovers Plot Against Vienna Pride Parade TL, DR, before the colorful explosion of Vienna's Pride Parade could light up the city, three as sympathizing party poopers aged 14, 17, and 20, found themselves arrested by Austria's homegrown heroes, their intelligence service. Tipped off, and keeping a careful eye, they swooped in, stopping a potentially devastating attack on a parade that saw around 300,000 participants. Is this a plot twist worth celebrating, or a chilling reminder of the shadows that lurk behind the rainbows? Now, onto the nitty-gritty, folks. We're not just talking about any pride parade, we're talking about Vienna's iconic extravaganza that turns the city into a shimmering kaleidoscope of love and acceptance. It's the day when everyone's invited to the party, well, except for a trio of young wannabe extremists with some pretty terrifying plans. The alarm bells started ringing within Austria's domestic intelligence service, who, being the sharp-eyed eagles they are, got wind of the ominous plot. So what did these real-life superheroes do? They kept those potential baddies under constant control, making sure the party went on without a hitch. Imagine this, folks, an hour before the parade was about to kick off, the suspects were cuffed and carted off by Austria's Cobra Special Forces. Can we get a round of applause for the timing? But wait, it gets better. Or should we say, worse? These guys were no ordinary teenagers. The head of the intelligence service said that the trio had radicalized online and were sympathizing with the Islamic State group. And the cherry on top? One of them was already known to the police. So, what did these potential party crashes have in their evil arsenal? Apparently, they were armed with knives and a car. Now, we have no idea how these young minds got caught up in such dark webs, but it's certainly a call to question what's going down in our online spaces. Are we doing enough to prevent such radicalization? With all this darkness, you might wonder why didn't they cancel the event? Well, folks, the intelligence services were pretty confident these bad boys didn't have any accomplices. They weren't going to let fear win and ruin the joy of thousands of pride attendees. So, the parade went on in full force, and the show-stopping news was only revealed after the police raid had already taken place. The vibrant crowd of 300,000 was none the wiser to the threat they had narrowly escaped. Surely, this incident raises all sorts of questions, right? About our society, our security, and the lengths some will go to spread hate and fear. And it makes us wonder, how do we keep our celebrations safe without losing the spirit of what we're celebrating? Can we protect the sanctity of our safe spaces while ensuring they remain open for all? But the big question for today, dear readers, how can we as a society prevent the radical 